Welcome to uh, another little tidbit from Tax Buzz. This is our tax time news. Uh, we have some breaking news about the advanced child tax credit. I know I've talked about this before, uh, but we got some more information on it and the government's uh, making some advanced payments here that you need to know how to deal with. So anyway, my name is Lee Reams and I'll be uh, giving you this information today. So anyway, what's happened here is the, the IRS, uh, well, actually the government has decided to provide the uh, child tax credit for everybody in advance. And here's the way it's gonna work. So anyway, it's great news for parents of young children. So expanded under the American Rescue Plan. Now this expansion only applies to, to 2021. And the credit's been increased from 2,000 per child to 3,000 for children ages six to 17 and 3,600 for children under the age of six. The age is at the end of uh, 12, 31, 2021. So you have the end of the year before they have to give you measure the year. And unlike other years, the 2021 credit is fully refundable. For higher income taxpayers, the increase in the credit is reduced by $50 for each thousand the taxpayers AGI exceeds a threshold. And the thresholds are 150,000 for married taxpayers filing jointly, 112,500 for heads of household and 75,000 for others. Now for higher income taxpayers, those who income makes them ineligible for the increased credit amounts, they can still qualify for the, the original 2000 credit per child subject to normal phase out uh, thresholds, which is 4,000, excuse me, 400,000 for married taxpayers filing jointly and 200,000 for others. So even if you don't get the, the increased credit, you still get the, the 2000 amount up to 400,000 for married taxpayers and 200,000 for others. Now here's a new twist. So 50% of the credit is to be paid in advance. And the government has decided that everybody falls in this category. So everybody's gonna get the advance payments unless you opt out. We'll talk about that in a minute. The credit will be estimated based upon the prior file returns. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna look at your, your 2020 tax return and see how many children you have and, and based on, and your income and that for, for 2020 and estimate the credit on that and make the payments from there. If you did not file your 2020 return yet and, they're, and they, are, they do not have the information, then they'll look at the 2019 return and base it on that. And anyway, these payments will be made in six monthly payments, July through December. And any, that's so, and any balance claim the credit on the 2021 tax return. So 50% will be paid in advance the other 50% you'd get credit on your tax return. And uh, let's talk about an example here. So we have a couple with two children, ages nine and 10, and one with age, age two. Their income is below the 150,000 phase out, so they'll get the full amount of the credit. So they get two, thousand, two times 3,000 or 6,000. They get one child at 3,600, and the total of those two then is $9,600. Now 50% of that will be paid in advance, so we take 50% of that and divide it by six, six payments, July through December. And thus their monthly payments will be $800. So every month they'll get $800 either as a check or a direct deposit, depending on how they got it set up. Now you can manage this credit yourself, the you know, IRS website and it's shown on the screen there. But if you, if you obviously can't write this down in a hurry and get it right. <laughs> So just go to the IRS website and search child tax credit and you'll, you'll, you'll bring it up. Anyway, the website allows you to control, uh, gives you control over the payments. The payments can be by direct deposit if the IRS already has your bank deposit information. And if they don't, you can give it to them on the website. Otherwise, the payments are automatically sent by check uh, if you haven't provided the direct deposit information. If you prefer not to receive the advance payments, you can unenroll to stop receiving them and then claim all of your eligible credit when you file your 2021 tax return. So you, you might not need the money in advance. You might wanna, wanna save it up, 
have it come to you all in one payment like like you're used to having it doing. And so if you choose to do that, uh, you can actually unenroll from the advanced payments. And if you're a non-filer, in other words, you don't file a tax return, uh, you can provide the IRS the information on the website and then you'll receive your advanced child tax credit payments that way. And the first payments we've made sorry, in July 15th, so it's coming up fast. So if you wanna make any changes, make sure you get on that website and, and do that. Well, that's all for this one. So um, take care, we'll see you next time.